when we do our family worships, um, it has changed quite a bit since we've been using the Growing Together curriculum. Uh, the curriculum is designed so that on Sabbath, um, during Sabbath school time, the teachers present the materials and they teach it. And then at home, it allows parents and, and uh, trusted adults to reinforce what is learned on Sabbath morning. Now, um, to aid in the worship time at home, we have several things that we use. Of course, first and foremost, the curriculum is designed around um, the Bible as its primary source. So you'll have to have a Bible uh, when you do your materials. Next, we also, um, either digitally or in, in print, uh, we have um, use of the quarterlies. So this is uh, the junior one for my older son and then the primary one for our younger one. And so the way we do it is we start with the younger one. Um, we open up our Bibles and each day there is a passage um, that reinforces what they learned on Sabbath that they will read and then some questions or reflections that they will do, some activities they can do um, to um, enhance their writing. Now, one of the things that we feel is critical um, for our family and part of the curriculum design is that um, as they read the Bible and we have worship together, we want to generate conversation about their lives, their relationship with God, and why it's important. So, um, like we said, the Bible is the primary source of what we do. Now, to aid parents in their worship time, we also have some take-homes that they would have received in Sabbath school. Um, field notes are what they will get in the classroom. There's a in-class component to these field notes, and then a take-home component so part of this will already been, have been done before they get home, and you can use um, the remainder of the field notes to um, use during your worship time. And then parents, during your discipler class, um, will get a home connection sheet. Now, some churches may choose to email this out during the week, um, but this is your uh, worship time aid as well as a recap of what everybody has learned in the curriculum. So for instance, for this week, our theme is living out love. And the Bible passage that everybody is focusing in on is 1 John 4, 7 through 5, 5. Then there are some um, suggestions on how to lead prayer time, as well as the do. There's a couple of options for you, um, an activity that you can do with your students at home um, to help aid in your worship time. On the back of it is the week at a glance, or this week in your curriculum, and it breaks down the various divisions of our curriculum and what the focus is um, for each developmental age group. So, our whole point of our worship time, whether it's in the morning, at breakfast time, or evening before you go to bed, is that the family is engaged, uh, spending time in the Word of God, and having conversations. God bless you.